I installed the dirt lockers in July of this past year. I heard about dirt lockers because I was searching on Pinterest for solutions for a slope. I was losing soil from underneath the sod that was just laid. And the sod was actually even running underneath the fence and out into the HOA property behind my house. So I'm on Pinterest and I'm looking around and I came across dirt lockers. It was such a different solution. It wasn't like all the retaining walls that I'd seen before. My neighbors have had only good things to say about the dirt lockers. Uh, they joke that I've made their yards look much worse because I have all the flowers. <laughs> the types of plants that I chose for the dirt locker, I couldn't choose just one type of plant. I chose annuals for the color that the flowers bring pretty consistently. I chose perennials because I want them to fill in and spill over and just fill the hillside. One of the concerns that I had about the dirt lockers was that their ability to hold back sandy soil. I live in Northeast Florida. We have nothing but sand in our soil. So I contacted them via email and they responded to me very quickly telling me that sandy soil would be fine, that they've used this in other applications in Florida. So I thought, okay, I'm going to try. I put them in, they seem to be holding up just fine. And then Hurricane Ian came through. It came through Northeast Florida as a tropical storm. And we had three days of rain. In one day, we had 10 inches in 24 hours. There was also a tremendous amount of wind. I did not know what I was gonna come out and see. The day after, when the rain stopped, I came out. No mulch had flowed out of the, the, the dirt lockers where I had mulch. No soil had disappeared from the dirt lockers. They held up way better than I ever expected they would have done. One of the things that I liked about dirt lockers is that they are made from recycled materials. And it turns out that because I have 100 dirt lockers, I have kept, I've helped, dirt lockers done the rest of it, but I have helped keep out 1,300 plastic milk jugs out of the landfill. I do have a piece of advice for anybody who wants to try this project. Pay attention to the suggestions on the website with all the video clips. Look at those first. You need to calculate your slope in order to determine what size dirt lockers you need and how many you need. It's not just the distance, it's the slope also. When I had first done this project, I accounted for a different slope. We changed the slope because of some work we had done in the yard. So that changed things a little bit, but that's, that's the biggest piece of advice I can give you is look at the videos, take a look at them. They really help a lot. Another thing that I did not know about the Dirt Locker Company is that they actually are participating in a reforestation project. And it kind of tickled my funny bone to know, made me feel good, that m my purchase of the 100 Dirt Lockers that I got actually aided in the planting of 30 trees. <music>